CF Engine 2 really represented a groundbreaking step in self-healing automation. Um, and as we were learning about uh, CF Engine 2, it grew organically and we added features and we were learning as we were going along. And of course, everything that grows organically eventually becomes inconsistent. It becomes this sort of um, not a beautiful crystalline thing, but this sort of muddy ecosystem of things. And but as we learned as we went along, and uh, I think the important things that we learned were that knowledge was the key to to, um, to managing system, uh, to managing infrastructure, and the underlying simplicity of the concept helped us to grow and to scale and to to succeed wherever systems had failed, and. Um, the predictability of it, which of course comes back to, to knowledge. Uh, if it's predictable, you can know what it is. So when we made CF Engine 3, it was important to take the best of these, uh, these qualities and not be held back by the past uh, and make, focus on making the new system compatible with the old without, at an operational level, without being bound by the past and making it absolutely compatible. So we changed the language quite a lot. and. We wanted to make the language a language for documentation rather than for implementation so that you weren't having to take the air conditioner apart to, to make it make a change, but it was, it was a simple language of documentation. Um, so moving from CF Engine 2 to CF Engine 3 is all about step-by-step -step upgrading to this new system without having to um, be bound by the past. It, it requires a little bit of work. You have to put in some work to to change the language. But you can do it step by step because it's operationally compatible. Uh, you put all these things together, I think um, the system be can remain lightweight, agile, and scalable. And these are the, the key things for, for going forward with CF Engine 3.